Hello Violin Channel, this is Julian Rachlin, again from my home in Vienna. Um, today I would love to chat with you a little bit about wrist, elbow, just a couple of things, again very basic. Um, with each video we'll just talk about different things and um, I'll play a few examples later on, but for the moment I would really like to just talk about very simple, basic things. So today about wrist. Um, my personal philosophy, how to hold, you know, how high should the wrist be or how low or whatever. What about the elbow, the arm? Um, I was always imagine when you hold the ball like this and you give it to a child, you know, to a baby or to a very young child who has never played the violin and just tell the kid grab the ball what will the child do it will just grab the ball like this it will not think of anything complicated it will just grab the ball like this now this is where I'm coming from so actually if I have the violin here I grab the ball like this and then I put it on the string now look at this Obviously, this looks very stupid, but I think that this is a very natural way. And you see now the height of the elbow. It's not like this. The wrist is just the way that you would grab the ball. So it's very flat. Everything is very flat. And now we take the ball in the hands, as I showed in the other videos. Don't change anything. And this is, for me, the perfect position. It's very flat and you can even virtually remember that you can put a book here, you know? It should be like a square. One, two, three, four. And you should not do this, you should not do this. Nothing unnatural. Just very flat, of course very free. Like this you have the support of the elbow. Don't have to exaggerate with the elbow, not too high. And I think that this is, this is a nice and healthy position. We keep our angle as discussed in the other videos. We make the ball change with the fingers. The wrist is very flexible, but it's not like this, it's not like this. It's just very naturally flat. Try to work on that. See you soon.